Hello, good day ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ikena. We are members of Group 2 here to present a demo on our project on designing and developing a Twitter-controlled robot using a shield bot. The, robo the robot uses instructions sent to it through a Twitter account to perform various tasks. As a group, we perform different individual tasks and we would all talk about the tasks performed. With that, I'm going to pass over to my colleague, Barbara. Hello everyone, I'm Barbara. I helped out with the network design and live video streaming, and I'll pass on to my colleague Kinga. Hey, I'm Kinga. I, I have done the network implementation and design, and I have done part of the Arduino sketch, and I'll pass on to my colleague Zoe. Thank you. Um, my name is Zoe, and I did the hardware setup and the Arduino sketch with the help of Kinga to control the motion and the direction of the robot. Hello, my name is Marshall, and I did the video streaming part along with the website that you can see the video results. With that, I'm going to pass it to my colleague Pranjal. Thank you. Hi, my name is Pranjal and uh, I worked on the Twitter interaction for the robot. And with that, I'll pass it on to my colleague Tim. Hello, my name is Tim. I helped out Pranjal with Twitter interaction for the robot and also carried out the testing. idea in keeping in line with the project definition i had to carry out an intensive research on twitter controlled robot and come up with the best pos possible method to make the project a success first drew a sketch diagram on how the robot would function and basic component needed for the project and also helped out in hardware setup thanks well, i helped out uh, the network bridge and i also helped uh, with the research on the live video streaming which i gave to marshall to do the setup Hey, I was assigned to design an internet network which will connect the Android client and the Android server in order to transmit the Twitter commands and the video stream. A simple private IP scheme with a network address of 192.168.1.0 was chosen along with a slash 30 sandman mask which will only allow for two hosts. The network has an ad hoc topology and uses ESSID uh, RoboNet on channel 9. In the, in the configuration file, the command out to WLAN 0 was included to ensure that the interface is activated on the boot. Simple pick and trace with commands were executed to test the connection. The process that's going to be happening is as well follows. The Twitter commands will uh, be received by the Android server, which then will be translated into text file and transmitted to the Android client via the network implemented. The net Android client will then read the text file using the sketch function file read and execute the commands. Okay, so my main parts in the project were to do the hardware setup and do the Arduino sketches. So for the hardware setup, we just connected the um, Odroid with its shield bot, with its I.O. shield onto the shield bot using the pins as directed by the shield bot's .cpp library and header sketches. So all we had to do was to come up with some functions that would then retrieve serial information that would feed into the functions, which would then control motion and direction. So how the shield, how the sketch would run would basically be the RX and TX pins would send information from the Android to the Arduino chip that sits on top every minute or so, which Pranjal will speak about more in detail later on. And then that information would feed into the functions and then the robot would move. Hello, my name is Marshall. I did the video part. So basically, what we did for the video is we downloaded the package from GitHub called MJPEG Streamer, and we compiled the file. Then, using a predefined command and setting the port and folder, we managed to pipe the video through HTTP to the web browser of the Android. Doing that and using the ad hoc network, we managed to transfer the video from one order to the other, where another web, where a small website was designed on the second order that the user used, and he could see both videos. Now to complete this project, we had to set up uh, the Twitter interaction uh, in such a way that the Twitter would be able to communicate with the order. So we first uh, started by setting up a Twitter account and also a Twitter application. Then we used uh, Twitter APIs with uh, Rainbow Stream, but we came up with a roadblock using this method. And we call up with an alternative, which my colleague uh, Panja is going to talk to you about. So um, the alternate solution we came up with was to 
make a script which will fill up uh, the Twitter homepage for the robot using the wget command. The page was then converted to text and put into a new file. The file was then opened within the script and I pulled out each instance which contained the words at robot q3 space move. The results were then piped to cut the parse result of the, the word after the, after the move word. The results are then filtered to get the most recent tweet command. This is then this is done by using the set command. The results were then put into a file which was securely copied to the other Android which is connected to the to the shield bot. A few moments later text and put into a new file. The file then opened the script. The file was then opened. Um, hold on! Hello, good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ikena. We are members of Group 2 here to present a demo on our project on designing and developing a Twitter control robot. <laughs> And I need an excuse. 